Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm going to do a quick haul um, and then I'm also going to do uh, a beauty tool video later today. But I wanted to get started and perhaps I wanted to do this so that if you have, uh, perhaps you have some things you need ideas to buy somebody for Christmas, maybe something here will help you. Uh, anyway, I wanted to first say thank you very much to a subscriber of mine for sending me a beautiful uh, set of earrings. She uh, sent them to my P.O. box. She is somebody who has ordered masks from me, so that's how she had my P.O. box number. And they are just gorgeous. I absolutely love them. They are from Thailand. Antique ties are created with metals handcrafted in Chiang Mai, Thailand, Thailand for you by JM. So thank you Susie very very much. I love them and now that I have showed them I will wear them. Okay, okay so this is going to be a little different uh, from it's not just a beauty haul, okay? It's going to have a couple of other things in it and perhaps you'll get an idea for some items for Christmas. Uh, I'm going to start with books, okay? Uh, I have a few authors that I just do not miss a book that they put out. And Karen Slaughter is one of them. And right now I'm reading Pretty Girls. And she usually does, I read all of her books with the, um, they were called, uh, like blindsided, kiss cut, they are all like Trent. Trent was the main character in them. And it was a series of books and I absolutely love them. Now this is a new character she's introducing and it took me probably a quarter of the way to get into this book. I like books, suspense books, thrillers, um, but I really like books that have very lovable, strong, characters in them or wounded wounded bird characters kind of like I guess because Trent you know I mean if you follow the books you'll know what I'm talking about anyway uh, it, it has to have a character that I really can't I mean I can't wait to get back to that character as I'm reading okay this book did not grab me that way yet but the story all of a sudden this much into it it flipped and I said, because I said to Lou, you know, this book's not grabbing me at all. And I just kept reading it and kept reading it. Usually I give up on them. And all of a sudden, I woke up the next morning. I said, the book took a turn. So it does take a little bit of time to get into it. But Karen Slaughter, if you know somebody that loves thrillers, mysteries, whodunits, and that kind of stuff, she's a great writer. Absolutely great. So I love that book. Another one, and this one, she did a series of Amish books. This, and it continues on. They're all about Amish, uh, but they're like um, murders that happen in, in the Amish country, counties and stuff like that. Um, they're not gory or anything like that. Missing persons, accidents, things like that. Linda Castillo, very, very good. I just bought this book called After the Storm. This is the newest. I have not read it when I do. If you're interested in what I think of a book, let me know. Another one, Michelle from Makeup MLC. She sent me this for my birthday. Now I will admit that this author is hit or miss with me. I don't always care for her books, but I have, I, the last one I read of hers, I don't remember what it is, but I absolutely loved it. It was a newer one because it was still in hardback, but Patricia Cornwell, uh, and this one is called Depraved Heart. It's a Scarpetta novel and I um, almost bought this myself. So I was really interested in this book. So we'll let you know what I think of that one. Now here's another one of my really favorite authors and I don't know how I missed her release in April or May other than the fact that I was under a lot of stress and going pretty crazy in my life. Uh, but she, it came out in paperback. That's the only way I knew. And she also did a series of books with the cop kind of fell in love with a serial killer or he it wasn't that he fell in love he just couldn't take himself away from her and she was so great at manipulating and controlling him but anyway this is a new character that's being introduced so if any of you have read the old let me know what you think of this new series and this one is called one kick by chelsea kane I love her as a writer. I love Kellerman. I love a lot of them. I don't like the sappy romances. I just don't like them. I don't know. They're, it's like too predictable and so boring. And come on, who in life is really like that? Anyway. All right. Another thing that I bought for myself 
recently and because I want to incorporate these into my exercise and I bought these from Dick's. They are by Skulls and they are slidey disc and you, it just allows you to do a lot of different types of exercise with your body using a lot of your body to control the disc instead of, you know, hand weights or machines. So you can do lunges and squats and, you know, you can do your, um, you can do core, flexibility, everything it says. So I'm going to give those a try. I haven't opened them up. I have all other models of them, but I didn't feel they were comfortable. What I liked about these is they actually have padding for your knees if you happen to be on your knees or using your elbows or something like that. So I thought these would be more comfortable. So that is really something good for the person that likes to work out at home. Uh, I bought some new shoelaces for my sneakers. Um, my shoelaces are too short in them and they won't tie and I have to just knot them so I had to buy some longer ones. Uh, I also bought, this was at Ulta, I want to try these gel infused spa treatment socks by Miss Spa. You're supposed to be able to wear them daily and they're uh, enriched with jojoba oil, olive oil, vitamin E and rose oil and they're supposed to moisturize the feet and you know I'm crocodile lady, the feet uh, crack. Uh, so I thought I would give these a try when I'm sitting around at night with Louie watching TV. I would put these on my feet. I can't wear them to, during the day because I can't go out publicly with those on during the day. Uh, I don't think my shoes would fit with those on. And then I bought these. These are by, this is a professional headband, but I'm going to look to see if I can find them for you because I just think they're fabulous. They're very, very, very soft. They come in a pack of three. I think these would be a great stocking stuffer, but they're, oh, they're just so soft. I just thought they were great. And they're the headbands, like if you're giving yourself a facial or something. And these were by um, Provonia, and it's, they're called the Timeless Three Headbands, and they're luxury headbands. And I just, they're like, they feel like velvet. I'm not kidding you, okay? So I bought those for myself because my old ones were getting kind of grungy. But I think that would be a great uh, thing to put in like a little spa basket for somebody. For my shower, I bought a Pumi bar. That's just to give a quick brush of the heels to get some of the dead skin off. Um, these you can buy at Sally's uh, and they're really, they're inexpensive. You can make a little manicure basket for somebody and put those in or a petty basket. Um, the fool that's in me just refuses to give up on eyelashes because it's quite comical. I could do a comedy act on my channel just putting on lashes, but I thought I would try doing it again. So I bought some strip lashes and these are the Andrea number 16 and I bought two pair because I really like they were shorter and they got longer on the outside so they give you that nice flare lift up just for the holidays I wanted to be able to fancy my gussy myself up um, I've shown these in a haul before I bought these from Alta they're the seven wonder these are the tundra cranberry anti-aging mask and the Kalahari melon moisturizing mask I like these masks, so I bought two more of the flavors that I already tried. Very nice. I needed a new eyebrow pencil. I used two eyebrow pencils, well, three, but right now I'm rotating two, and it is the Dior Universal Brow Pencil, which I have on today, or Lingering by MAC. I definitely like the Twist Up over the Sharpen. I like the very, very fine tips so that you can actually give little strokes that do look like hair. Um, I've ordered a pair of lashes from MAC. These are the three quarter for just on the outer part. Figured if I can't do the whole, I'll be able to do the quarter because I have done the quarter before. And um, I feel I get a couple of uses out of them. Uh, I needed some more face shavers because yes, I have been shaving my hair on my face for many years and it also helps to exfoliate. And these are by Tinkle. And I ordered these off of Amazon because the store that I used to be able to get them from moved out of the mall, so it's no longer there. Um, one of you, after I shared in a haul that I had purchased the L'Occitan uh, Almond Shower Al uh, Oil, absolutely love it. It's a little on the pricey side. Well, it's $25 for the bottle. That's a lot for a shower gel. That's small. It's only, I think, what is this, eight ounces? Well, one of you, uh, said I needed to try the Eucerin Skin Calming Body, body Lash, Body Lash, uh, Body Wash. I did. It is very, very nice. I actually have two backup bottles. I have one in the shower going. I will say I compared them 
to each other and there is a difference in the lather. Uh, the lather for the L'Occitane is a little creamier and when I come out of the shower, I wash half my body with this and I wash the other half of that. The L'Occitane leaves a little bit more moisturization than the Eucerin does. But for those of you who have always wanted to try this, it is perfect. It doesn't smell like almond. It lacks that. Then one of you also, I love YouTube for this. One of you also said to me, oh, Tammy, you crazy Miss Tammy. She said, you need to go to the L'Occitane site and they sell a refill bottle for the almond oil. Now, uh, the almond, this is, this is equivalent to two of these bottles. I bought, this came in a set. This would be $25 on its own. This would, this is two bottles, so you figure $50 on its own. I bought the set for $63. If I had bought three bottles, it would have cost me $75. So, and I think there was free shipping and something else they gave me. Maybe some samples, I don't remember. But I said, I must have it. So thank you to whoever left that in the comment. That's why I love when we share things in the comments because I find things. All right, so the Misha, they were offering 40% off of some of their products. So I am so into sleeping mask right now that I wanted to try their Super Aqua Cell Renewal Snail Sleeping Mask. Now, they do not kill snails to make this because I know I'm going to have somebody say, what about the poor snails? Snails, as they go along, they secrete and it comes out of them. Okay. Secrete means they leave it behind. So they must put the snails or something on something and they catch the snail drippings. Okay. And people are going to be, Oh, that's gross. It doesn't smell like snail. You don't even, if it didn't have snail on there, you wouldn't know it was even in there. So I am going to try this now because I have, I have like, I have like five sleeping masks and I'm loving all of them, but I do have my favorites. Okay. They'll be coming up. I think I'll do a sleeping mask video. I'll do a hair mask video. You know, I run out of ideas, my friends. So maybe I should say to you, what are your favorite videos that I do? Oh, this is my grandma's watch. Um, ring. I cleaned it yesterday and I thought I'm going to wear grandma's ruby. I loved it. All right. So, uh, getting back to my haul, this is also by Misha and this is their time revolution. The same line as the, uh, essence that I bought, which I'm almost out of. I love it. And I have other essences I've since purchased. This is the night repair science activator ampule. So I'm going to give this a try too. It's a nighttime because, um, I've been reading a lot about Korean skincare and, uh, there's something to be said for it. You all know that I love the color proof line. So I went ahead and got, uh, it was on sale at my professional store. So I bought the crazy smooth shampoo and conditioner for Florida and the mask because in Florida, I need help. My friends, I need lots of help. I also bought for myself because I sometimes like to have a little more volume in my hair. I bought uh, a super plump a shampoo and conditioner. I needed a new bottle of my everyday uh, perfume by Burberry and it is the largest, but this is what the original looks like. I'll, I'll take photos of this at the end and insert them. So you see, I also bought, I saw this by Revlon. It's the, um, it's a new Kajal matte eye pencil from them. I bought it in espresso, uh, just to play around during the holidays. You know, um, I bought a new, this is, I always have some form of the M oil Moroccan mask, and this is the hydration formula. I love it. Love it. I bought a new bottle. I was out of this, this oil I have been using probably for 10 years. It is the Gila, 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 the Lansing healing strength, neum plant oil. This oil is phenomenal. You can put it on before you dry your hair. You can put it in your mask when you're using mask. I will sometimes just put a dot on my hand, a little bit on my hand, rub it together and run it right through my styled dry hair. It gives incredible shine. And I believe that this oil actually does heal the hair. Okay. So that's one of my favorites. That's an early one for you. Early mask, favorite mask. Whoops. Something dropped there. I bought two lipsticks from 
the drugstore. And this one is from Revlon. It's called Spicy Cinnamon. Not sure if it's going to ever make it to my lips, but I thought, oh, it's not too bad. Let me show you what it looks like. It's almost similar to the one I'm wearing, actually, so maybe it will. And that is what it looks like. I wanted something with a bricky raisin type feel without being too brown because then I can't wear them. And then I bought, this is Ava's Red 403. And uh, I don't know if I'll wear this either, but it looked nice in the store. That's it on this finger here. And that's what it looks like. They smell like drugstore lipsticks to me. <laughs> All right, so that is my haul. And uh, again, I thought I, it, maybe some of it would give you ideas. Any of the things that I showed you could be used as a Christmas gift for someone. Um, if you have somebody who has dry skin, a nice puff with some Eucerin body oil, uh, some of the Eucerin uh, lotions and stuff, you know, you think, oh, that's not really a gift for somebody. It is when you have dry skin, because to me, it's a very thoughtful gift because you know they suffer. Um, any of the books, anything. So let me know how far are you on your Christmas shopping or your holiday shopping. I realize that not everybody celebrates Christmas. I celebrate Christmas and forever it will be Christmas for me. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all of those good things. What are you getting? I want to know what's on your list. I, I actually had a couple of things on my list for Louie and of course I will share them with you when it happens. So uh, I should be back before Christmas. I should be back. All right, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful. Most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. Bisous.